Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to another session here, another chat with my good friend Beth English and myself, and we're happy to connect with you. Hi, Beth. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Today, we're going to talk about welcoming change in 2022. <laughs> now, for a lot of friends like, what? Well, we don't need more change. We've been changing a lot in the past couple of years because of the pandemic and so on. Can we have some normality, right? Maybe that's what you're looking for. But today I want to talk a little bit about kind of more in depth on the idea of change and, uh, you know, the change that we are able to produce ourselves, not the change that comes from exterior forces that we all have been. So uh, I, I would say, you know, that I think most of us are creatures of habit. I like habits. I like things that I know, you know, what's coming. Uh, how about you, Beth? How are you with uh, habit versus change? I feel like I'm really good with change, but I do, I do have some habits. Yeah. Like, you know, I love to have a cup of coffee every morning. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to change that. Don't make me. <laughs> oh, that's a change, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a non-negotiable change. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that too. So super, <laughs> super, super. Yeah. I think we all have, you know, the routines and the things that we, uh, that we enjoy and that are good for us and things like that. And I think, you know, I don't know, but I feel like the older I get, sometimes change becomes a little bit uh, more challenging, right? Because you have been at it longer. Uh, I, you know, this year I turned 50. So that's a big number for me. And like, wow, you know, now um, uh, I want to be a person who who I'm open to change. You know, that's one of my goals for 2022 is also to, to con constantly produce change, not only in others, the people that I'm working with, but mm -hmm. also changing me. And, uh, uh, and I, I realized that, uh, you know, and that's kind of what I talk about here with you, but it's like, there, there are two types of change. There's a change that comes from external factors, which, you know, the pandemic, which none of us expected that much, that huge change in 2020 and 2021, but it came, we had no option, but to adapt and to do things differently and to order more things online and wear a mask, everything that came with that, right? Less traveling. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing more Zoom calls and, and all those things, but uh, that's change that comes to us and we have no option but to react. And that is good. You know, I think, uh, you know, some people adapted faster than others. Uh, but then there's also the change that I'm super excited about uh, that I want to continue to be a person of change. The change that I produce on myself, on my own, and for specific purposes. So mm -hmm. the, yeah, there's change that comes here, but there's also change that I want to create inside of me that will keep me more on the edge, that will keep me uh, also excited, and that will keep me also motivated, you know, those changes uh, that well as we come. So I figure as we are kind of going into 2022, this is a perfect time to not only think about our goals and aspirations and things that we want to do, but also things that we may want to change uh, sometimes not because something is wrong. So a lot of times we think of change, I, well, I gotta change something that is wrong or it's not working, mm -hmm. but sometimes you change something that is actually maybe good or or it's actually working just for the sake of change and for being responsive when change comes your way. So you don't feel so resistant to change. Uh, um, so, uh, you know, what are some of the things uh, Beth, that, for example, you know, now that I said a little bit of this, that you might want to change in 20, 22, just a little thing, maybe something uh, there that comes on top of your mind as you've been also kind of creating your goals or, you know, you're uh, setting up your, uh, you know, as we hear, hear from last episode, which was super good, you guys have to check it out. You know, um, uh, what's one of the things that you are excited to, to change? Well, I feel like, you know, I really benefit from having a really clear process. And I think that with my artistic work, I was able to achieve that, but now with like my coaching and my speaking, I would really love to tighten up my daily process for how I approach those every single day. And so I love checklists. And so I've been thinking about, well, I'm going to make a checklist and I'm going to go through that every day. And then I can get into some new habits, mm -hmm. but also just like experimenting with it. Is this change helpful? And then see, and then I can change again if it's not right. So like change doesn't have to mean like permanence. It exactly. just means like experimenting with something new. And so I kind of approach it with that attitude. Mm -hmm. no, I love that. Some of the things that I'm looking at changing in 2022 for me is also kind of my, uh, my content creation, which mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, I started this year when, since the pandemic, you know, was kind of weird because we all had to adapt, you know, like I said, and even here in my house, we adapted things for it. And it became so easy for me to create content that I lost the rhythm of it, you know, I, because it was so easy for me to, I just jump in when I do a video now, I'm just going to just create a podcaster. But I, looking back, you know, I feel now how, you know, I put the episodes, of course, always it's a Wednesday one, so that was good that we had a specific day for an episode, but, uh, um, you know, all my other stuff, you know, because I, it was so easy for me to just jump in and do it. I didn't follow as good as a, as a system. Mm -hmm. And so something for me that I'm going to do in 2022 is kind of like change that. So I'm going to change that and kind of uh, create new, uh, new spaces and new ways of, uh, of in which I'll jump in to a podcast, for example, and then edit it in certain day and then release it X number of days after. So that I can go back into that rhythm, you know, mm -hmm. that I need to, and then that I like, and then, then, and that my audience will also appreciate to know when the next podcast episode is coming, not randomly, like whenever I feel like it now, which seems like to be the last few months. So, you know, that, that's kind of something that I want to change. And I could have left it the way it was because it's working for me. And, uh, you know, people can still listen to the podcast and get a notification when it comes out. But I feel like that the change of it was f for me to feel that structure, get more excited because I was losing a bit of that excitement too of it. And it mm -hmm. was starting to become like, oh, should I didn't do the episode? So you start to get that guilty feeling of it. So for me, kind of like this change is also uh, to me to get me excited, which is kind of mm -hmm. like something I wanted to, to talk about next is that change. A lot of times we uh, associate change with something negative, something like it's a response to it, something that maybe is not working, but also I think using change in a way that is going to stir the, the system or stir the, what we are doing right now so that we find new excis excitement on something. And, and you don't have to be necessarily on the loss of excitement in order to create change. You know, you may be something about excited about something right now, and then just change it just to just to feel something different, which I think uh, is something super important too. So, you know, this idea of changing, uh, you know, just to to experience something different and, and to mm. and to help us out, um, uh, is that something that? Uh, how do you think about that? I am feeling your. I'm feeling it. You know, <laughs> yeah. you said the word rhythm, you wanted mm -hmm. to get into a rhythm, you wanted to get more excited. And I'm feeling those exact same things. I, th I think, you know, we've been waiting and mm -hmm. waiting and waiting for whatever is to come after this right. whole two, last two right. years of just kind of sitting around at our computers and, and doing the best that we can, but it's not fulfilling us. Right. And so when we create that change, we create that new excitement. It's what we need to kind of keep going. It's how we continue to thrive at what we're doing because that change will help reinvent the, whether the process it is that we're following or how we are connecting with people, which all gives us that sense of like community and that feeling of flow. Mm -hmm. And I'm right there with you because you know, I've been, I feel like doing a lot of the same things for a while now, and I need to feel excited about my work. And right. so I think the more we create opportunities to try something new, to, you know, change up our routines or whatever that is to feel that excitement, to feel that rhythm. Like, as long as we're going after it, we're probably right. going to experience it some form or another. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm feeling really excited because I totally disrupted my routine. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going into 2022 feeling totally um, focused on my path aligned, like I'm ready to go. And I had this whole new like surge of energy and excitement to come with me. And so this change is going to be good and I'm going to be in my flow. Right. I'm going to feel that rhythm and I'm going to just keep going in that direction that I'm feeling like I'm being pulled in mm -hmm. in a way that is just going to bring everything that I've been doing my entire career together. And that to me just seems incredibly exciting. I love that. I love that. That is great. That's a good change, right? Good change for the yeah. positive <laughs> and, and a change that you're in control of for the most part, because when other things come externally, you know, we have no control or we are on a reactive mode, but in this case, you know, um, we are uh, in the forefront of it and, uh, and making the decisions. Something that you said earlier, which I want to finish with that, uh, as my last point is this idea of, uh, also the change that you create doesn't have to be permanent. You can try and test things out, uh, mm -hmm. which I love that even like right now, 
last week I, uh, you know, we went to Arabasso and we had a great time. Then we came back and something I hadn't done for a while was writing, you know, I had kind of left my, my, my blog kind of untouched for almost like maybe six months. Just because I was busy with other things, I totally forgot about it, you know, to tell you the truth. And then I came back and I did a, a whole report on Art of Basel, uh 2021. And then I, I, it kind of reminded me of my love for, for writing too. And it's like, oh, I really love this and I, I, uh, uh, I miss it. So, you know, when we talk about change, like when I look at my schedule, what, when am I going to add that on? So I'm, I'm right now working on different testing, different scenarios for me to make time for it and see mm -hmm. which one I like, you know? So for mm -hmm. example, this week I sit down and I made kind of a, a recipe or, you know, not exactly to this, but a recipe, like when I wake up at this time, I'm going to do this, 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 and then midday I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to jump to this, you know, with a lot of time and space for change, but, but just to, to see this week, how it feels, this new routine that may give me that additional space for writing. Then next week, maybe I'll try something else. And then, you know, that's this idea of what you said, you know, a change doesn't have to be permanent. You are in full control of that. And that's kind of uh, what I want to kind of finish with this episode is encourage your friends who are watching this right now. If you're watching this, maybe you feel as you come to the end of the year that, you know, uh, a lot of things have come your way and uh, you want more normality and things like that. But at the same time, you feel stressed out or you feel distracted or things like that. You know, think about the things that you can control, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there, you cannot really change the things that are out of your control, but there are things that you can control. And change that you control is actually a good thing, you know? And it feels good to be in control of that small thing and to try it, test it and uh, be excited for that again. So, you know, I want to encourage you guys to do that this week as you plan for 2022 and beyond, you know, think about not only your goals, ambitions, and things you want to do, but also the things that you may want to change, you know, just to experience something new or just to make space for something else or just to find some new you. So mm -hmm. that's my challenge for you guys, you know, put it down, put it on paper so you can actually see it, so you can actually think about it make space in your life to sit down and plan those things. And if you need some help with that, as I do every year, uh, which I'm excited to do again with my wife, Dr. Ina, we're going to do another uh, boot camp for goal setting uh, in uh, January. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, January 4th to 6th, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, three days inside of a Facebook group. Everyone is welcome, it's totally free. You can invite your friends, come on over. Uh, we have a system for goal setting and then, and then tracking your goals throughout the year that we've been using for the last five, six years. And we always share it with artists and artists use it year round. So, you know, we are at it again. If you need a little system that can help you, you know, think about change, track change, and then see how it evolves over time, come on over, you know, uh, it's gonna be really fun. So you can either DM me and I'll send you a direct link to sign up, or just go to my website, theartistnextlevel.com, rush slash goals, super easy. I'll put it also in the description. But again, this idea of change, I think uh, something that should be a, something that we get excited for. So with that having said that, I bet we're going to wrap up today's session. And uh, thank you so much for, for uh, joining me today and having this conversation with me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm always up for talking about change because <laughs> we're doing that every day, whether we like it or not. It's just, are we doing it mindfully? And are we doing exactly. it in the direction towards the things that we want? And do we have the courage to actually think about the change and set those goals and do the things that we want to do because life is short people super short super and short. no one's going to do these things for you so you got to do them for yourself and so Absolutely. go to Sergio's goal planning boot camp you will not be disappointed it's going to be fun and Beth where can our friends can connect with you on Facebook, Instagram, my website, email, all the places you can find me so easily online at Beth English it's pretty easy. What about you, Sergio? Same as easy as that too. Sergio Gomez Art. That's where you can find me. And of course, check out this bootcamp at theartistnextlevel.com right slash goals. Hope to see you there, my friends. And I'll see you next week, Beth. Have a great rest of your day. You Take too. care. Bye. Bye.